Croatia. Hi, Matthew. First of all, how are you and where do we find you at this moment? I'm, um, how are you doing? You're okay. I'm currently in uh, Blackburn, Lancashire at the moment in England. How did the social side affect you because of the coronavirus? It's okay. It wasn't, it wasn't too bad. There's obviously a lot worse happening around the world, you know, people dying and stuff. So, you know, me spending some time at home with my family, um, you know, extra time at home with my family was, was, was great for me. So, you know, I can't complain. It was said in the reports that many players will struggle to play without fans. How does it feel for you? Yeah, it's, it's obviously difficult because, you know, that's why that's why we play football. It's, it's for the people, for the fans. And, you know, to hear the, them chanting, you know, the side on and, and helping the side on is, is the most important thing for us, us footballers. Would you say that uh, you can't continue playing without fans and you, you want the fans as soon as possible back? Yeah, of course we want the, the fans back as soon as possible. But the most important thing is that everyone's safe. Um, you know, we, we don't we don't need any more deaths. We we, we want everyone to be safe as possible. And, and when that happens, um, you know, the fans will be back um, cheering the team on again. But the, obviously, the most important thing is safety. Let's go into your career. You've spent your last years in Cyprus and in Greece. What what's football like in those two countries? What's the taste of football there? Yeah, it was fantastic. I, I really enjoyed my time in, in both countries, in you know, Olympiakos and, and Ammonia. Uh, I, I've got great memories from both um, countries and brought both teams. Yeah, I look back with, with very fond memories. Best memory would probably be the cup final, uh, scoring a couple of goals there and obviously winning the cup final and, and winning the league. You know, the double was amazing from there. Um, and obviously my last year, obviously signing for Ammonia was, was amazing. You know, um, a fantastic club with a lot of history. Uh, my last year getting the club to the Champions League, um, obviously winning the league as well, which was which was an amazing thing for the fans. You know, because they didn't had any success for a long time, and you know I, I could proudly um, walk away with my head high. What made you move to Australia? Now I think I think it was somewhere we wanted to settle after football as well. You know, or the last part part of my my career. Um, my, you know, somewhere where we can settle down and you know get the kids and the family all together. So yeah, that was that was obviously a, a big point. And obviously, Austria is beautiful, beautiful place. And luckily, I've, I've signed for an amazing club. You've spent six seasons at Blackburn. What would be the one football match that you will never forget? I think making my uh, debut for for Blackburn against Fulham. Um, you know, early on was was great. I've got a lot. I've got so many good memories from Blackburn. Um, scoring at Old Trafford. Um, you know, putting us one nil up, and obviously getting battered afterwards. But you know, that was a very nice memory. I've got lots of fun memories there. You know, the the players there was fantastic. The, the families, the people around the club was was amazing and still are. With uh, fourteen games for the under twenty ones of England, how proud are you to represent the colours of your Always, always wanted to represent my country. You know, whatever level, I never got to do it any other level than under twenty one level. To be honest with you, um, but yeah, obviously, representing my country was 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 a very very proud moment, especially uh, you know in the first game at Wembley when we we won. Well, sorry, we drew three three, and I got to score. Do you think there is still an opportunity to get into the men's team? I think I think that's passed me by now, mate. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with the way my career has gone. Uh, obviously, it would have been lovely to play for the first team, uh, you know, to, to you know to get into that side. But obviously, it didn't happen. But I'll never look back and say I'm gutted I didn't do that. But I've had a great career and I'm having a great career still. Got many years left in in the game, I, I hope. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to my next chapter in my new team. In your career, you've played for a few teams, but if you had to choose two of the best managers you've played under, who would they be? Oh, I I'd say Mark Hughes because he gave me my debut um, at Blackburn, and I would probably say Ernesto Valverde was was amazing. So, uh, ex Barcelona manager, Olympiacos coach, you know his philosophy uh, was was amazing. And you, as a striker, who was the best defender that you faced? Uh, I would say between Rio Ferdinand and Vidic, definitely.
how tough was it to to face them? Very, very tough. I managed to score in both games, so uh, but no, it was very, very, very difficult and amazing players. And uh, if you had to choose between Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi, who would they be? Messi, all day long. But I respect Cristiano Ronaldo so much, the way he's transformed his game to becoming uh, from a wide man to a centre forward, and you know, he's probably going to break all the records in the world. But for me, it's Messi. Cristiano Ronaldo has done it, but can Messi do it on a cold Tuesday night in Stoke? Really, mate? <laughs> really? He's done it on every single platform and every stage I've ever, ever put in front of him. So, yeah, he can. And finally, if um, Matthew Derbyshire weren't a football player, where would you have been today? I'd probably be playing... Oh, sorry. I'd obviously playing non-league football, maybe. And I would definitely um, be, be coaching at some level. But apart from football, was there something else growing up that you looked up into? No. Football was my life and always is, mate. And always will be, I think.